You're looking at the world through the eyes and airbrush of Kim Poor as he works on his latest illustration of what's being called space art. There are only two dozen or so space artists in the world, and Poor is a leader in his field. But despite his success, Poor says he came to space art by accident. I think it was just sort of an accidental thing. I was messing around working in a gallery one day, and what came out of my painting was planets. And I just kind of sharpened up the detail on it some and got some notes from the other artists in the gallery, and they told me to go for it. And go for it he did. Poor's work has been published in more than a dozen magazines, including Omni and Science Digest. And most recently, he created an illustration for the cover of a book called The 40-Minute War. But many of the paintings Poor creates are not taken from something he has seen or touched. In fact, many of his works come from scientific theories about what planets and galaxies might look like. That's the trick, and I think it's, it's something, uh, I hate to say talent, but I, I get a lot of pictures in my head uh, just by reading a lot of things. And, and I'll go check those out with various scientists, and the picture starts to take place then. And Poor says scientists have criticized his work for being too colorful at times, but he says... For every Ph.D., there is an equal and opposite Ph.D. Daniel Plant, News Center 7.